If you're considering moving to Three Roots, which is a new development built by three builders, I'm gonna show you three model homes which are right behind me and talk about prices, space, and also about the neighborhood. So today we're gonna be seeing Atwood and we're gonna see three model homes. So we have plan six, five, and four, and we're gonna go one by one. Plan six is just under 1,700 square feet, two bedrooms, two and a half bath, you got the smart walk-in security system. You don't have as much privacy with the doors, but you can always put something down to cover it up. And this right here is the first bedroom. With a walk-in shower. No, it's not walk-in, but there is a shower here and there's a bathroom. I like how they put and make it really nice, the finishes, the cabinets, it's very nice. And it is because it's a model home, but I love the corner lot units because of how much space and light they get. So throughout the whole day you wake up and you have the sun coming out, look at that. And the park is right there, which is very nice. Let's see if the garage is open. Yeah, so they locked most of the garage, most of the garages, but you do have some space right here for some. Does it go down? Yeah, it does. For your shoes, for your clothes, because you walk in, then you go all the way here. I love. I can't wait to go upstairs, but it's so sunny in here. So I'm sure you have seen many other model homes, but. Every time they try to sell units, they try to sell pro properties and real estate, they put a lot of money and time into the model homes. So they put every single upgrade that you could, like for example, the lights, the gold finishes, the cabinets are painted, everything is brand new. I think this is also an upgrade. You got the sunlight coming out, the fridge. It's a very open and clean layout. I just love how it looks. What do you guys think so far? You're over here washing your hands, cleaning your dishes and looking that way. And you can see the park. So not all models are gonna be with lots of sunlight. We got the bathroom right here. But as I mentioned, not all units are gonna be as beautiful as this and they're gonna have such amazing sunlight coming in, but this is really nice. A lot of them do get sunlight. I just sold a property here in Three Roots for just under a million. You do get plenty of sunlight. You have solar. Look at that, that's my little puppy right there. You see that? You do have solar here. So if you have an EV car, this would be perfect. And then this is what they call open master bedroom. So you have the living area right there. And then you, you know, you start walking from there. That's your living area. I wanna show you the patio, but this is the bedroom. Coming from there. Waking up to the sunlight. Let's see the toilet. This is gold. That's gold. Interesting. Look how cute this is. This is so nice. I love these boxes where you can just put your shampoo here. To me, that's like a, such a big thing. I love those. So yeah, throughout the whole house, they have gold finishes, soft clothes, black cabinets. That's kind of like the theme of this specific unit. Walk-in closet. I mean, it's a closet. <laughs> Not much to show here. But this is so nice. And you're probably asking, where's the washer and dryer, Alex? Where is the washer and dryer? Well, they don't have one right here, but this is where it's gonna be. So it's gonna be right next to 
your bed, which is very convenient. From here, you take your clothes and you fold them and put in your closet right there. And since it is only a two bedroom, you could convert this into an office space or you can make it a gym space. It's really up to you. You have more closet space here. But again, this whole place, I have seen people turning into the office and they have sunlight coming in. This one is now facing the sun, but other units do. And just so I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about Three Woods. Three Woods is currently being built by three builders and overall, they're gonna build just under 1200 units. It's all new construction. They all have most likely solar. Have we seen this? Look, we have more closet here. And the units that we're looking at right now, they used to start in the mid 800s, from what I remember, and then they bumped it up to early low 900s, and now there's only 72 homes left, and you have almost a thousand people on the list. So walking in from plan six, you can see this is a quiet, quiet neighborhood. You have the park right here, you can play basketball. You can also play with your kids over there. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, plan five, which is just under 1700 square feet, two bed, two bath. You do have to go up the stairs a little bit. And then I do see that they have a carpet here, which is very different than the one that we just saw. A little bit more lighter colors. That's your garage. And you have more space here, like we saw from the other one. That's your stairs going up. Let's keep on touring. So you have a bedroom on the first floor with some sunlight coming in too. So corner lots, you just saw, it was probably one of the best lots that you're gonna see. And that's because corner lots and units, most of the time, they have the most light coming in. So you have a shower here. That's a little weird, no, look at that. But you got the shower, you got the sink, it's lighter colors. What is this, like a light gray? Pretty spacious, could turn this into a bedroom or an office. Again, it's up to the next owner. View of the office, I mean, <laughs> the park. Carpet, not too much of a big, of, big fan of a carpet, but everybody, and their own decisions. You have the bathroom right here for any guests that want to use. If you don't want them to use the one in your bedroom downstairs or in your master, but let's go. Oh, I didn't show you the patio on the last one. It's okay, I'll show you on this one. So this is your living area. It's so cozy and so cute. This is your patio, you have the AC right here. Hello ma'am, what's your name? Hi Nana. So this is the park right there. And there's also a rec center here, which I'm gonna put a video of it. But, I'm going to show you the kitchen. This is a little bit more colorful. The blue, very interesting color. That's the sales office right there. This is where you can be dining and having your meal in the morning. Since there's no like true, true um, area for you dine, but it's up to you. Hello. No, it's smaller. It is a little bit small, but the one uh, before this one is really nice too. I'm gonna go upstairs. We saw the bathroom over there. They do have carpet, so. So the dishwasher and the washer is right here. The dishwasher. Did I say dishwasher? Yeah. <laughs> the washer and the dryer is right here. And this is so nice because you can just fold your clothes there or you can just put your clothes there. And then you do have a lot of sunlight coming into this unit. I like how they made it so it's like an office space with a view. So you always have a view. And this is the third floor. So you have a bedroom here. This is the master with an open floor plan. All of them, I think, 
so far I have my open floor plan so cute you can put a couch here you have sunlight coming in TV this is unique I like this and the flooring just the flooring and the color of the paint can really make a difference what do you guys think should we turn on the lights let's turn on the lights much better so dual sinks for him and for her you have the shower and then you have the walk-in closet and so far these are the two units we got one more unit I want to show you and yeah I mean this is such a really nice area most people that live here are you know a little bit younger in the 30s and 40s um, most of the time there are families so very quiet neighborhood I've met a few families here very nice people most of them work from home which is a plus because it's quiet so we have plan four which is just over 1500 square feet two bedroom two bath right across from the park I mean they all are so it's these units this one has a little bit of stairs to go up because I think this is the smallest one out of all but let's check it out ding ding anybody home hmm just joking okay so you walk in and you have stairs going up and stairs going down so let's go down first so this is gonna be a garage I'm sure it's closed yes it is and you have a place here for your clothes some storage you have a closet and you have the first bedroom with a view of the outside area so excited to show you guys the area you have the bathroom let's turn on the lights but I kinda wanna go upstairs show you what's upstairs I think this is a two car garage and you do have an EV plug so 220 volt for electric vehicles that would be great again you have the bathroom here I like to turn the lights on because it always looks best but you have the bathroom here with the paint really nice stairs going up this is your kitchen I like the fridge that they put here it's not like the cheap ones white cabinets so this home is a little bit more light uh, it's lighter you got the dishwasher supposed to be here interesting it's not here you got the sink so you're washing and you're looking at your kids over there if you have any kids or just if you're working from home you can make food here microwave very interesting placement for the microwave I mean it should always be above the oven so let's keep on going you got the balcony but first you have the living area look how nice it is upstairs so it just doesn't feel that small because of how much light has that comes in and I think the AC is working right now so it might be a little bit loud that's a little bit loud come in very quiet oh look at this if somebody does jump from that window you're gonna get caught so <laughs> you're gonna be safe it's so quiet, especially with the AC off. Come on, let's keep on going with the tour. Close this. Okay. So, I mean, you see me walking around. It feels pretty spacious. Personally, if I was on the list, I would love to get the corner lot one because he has so much light coming in. But, I mean, even here, like, you have a lot of light coming in. So, would I say that it's for a big family? No, I would say it's more for like couples and people of maybe one to two kids. This is right here your 
other office space. And I like how they make it look like an office space because you have such an amazing view outside and you have sunlight coming in. Is that from Lululemon? I don't know, I'm such a huge Lululemon guy. You got the bed. Look at this. Bathroom. Let's turn on the lights. It's really cute. And then let me show you the closet. It's a little bit smaller than the one that we just saw, but you still have a walk-in closet. Oh look, that's for the wine. So if you're a wine person, that's a really nice option. Got the AC, and then the washer and dryer are gonna be put right here. And I know you guys are probably considering potentially moving here, and you wanna know what does the rec center look like? So I'm going to put a video of me touring it and showing you more because I think that's like one of the reasons why a lot of people move here. The HOA is about $300, so you are paying a big portion of that for the rec center. So you should check it out. So right behind me is the rec center, which is pretty large. They have multiple pools, hot tubs, and also a fit gym, which I mentioned earlier in this video. And I think it only makes sense for me to show it to you guys. that big pool wasn't enough they also have a lap pool and you have three lanes right here and you can go back and forth it's very warm and also what I really do like behind me those things right there are a rest area between the laps that you want to do and that's what I'm talking about all the wellness and health they really want you to feel like you're living in a resort and enjoy your time and also you have wet and dry sauna here in the bathroom. So what do you think about the rec center? Was it worth the wait? I think it was. If you are looking to buy or sell here in sunny San Diego, or you wanna get a little bit more information about Three Roots and near Mesa overall, feel free to reach out to me, email me, text me, or call me. I'm gonna leave all my information in the description of this video. I want to help people just like you buy their first, second, third, or any property that they're looking into. So with that being said, until next video. That's Vidania.